director here as well, and to the rest of the entire staff at Brandon State University. Uh, I didn't get your name, I'm sorry again, sir. Oh, Brandon. Brandon, okay. And Mr. Bradford, of course. I, I, I end up naming everybody in here, so I don't, don't be terrible. But, <clears throat> again, I have to go back and uh, look at uh, what Gramlin State University uh, has done for me. And, uh, and starting out, I grew up uh, not very far from here, actually in Jackson, Paris. Uh, didn't have art in elementary nor high school. Didn't have it. Uh, got to Gramlin. Uh, I was majoring in business management. And I was walking actually on, as we called, the yard. And um, I noticed uh, several young men actually drawing young pretty girls. I'm just going to tell you, that, 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 that's what inspired me. And so uh, basically uh, a friend of mine said to me, he suggested, why don't you get your number two drawing, uh, pencil drawings? Uh, and I did. And I uh, went and spoke to uh, Mr. Shane at the time. And he said I had an eye for perspective, balance, and space. And I said, what does that mean? And he said, believe me, you need to take one course. And I did. I took that one course, and I still pursued my uh, business management, which I'm very uh, glad that I did. But I ended up getting or receiving a uh, fine arts degree from Ramon State University. Forward that. What did Grammar State University do for me? Uh, it asked, actually, um, you have to understand, going just being in an HBCU environment is completely uh, incredible experience. Uh, after being around uh, white counterparts, uh, and I'm not saying anything negative about white counterparts, but that was the majority of my friends in school I was. I had a. I did not have growing up. Although I was in a rural community, I needed that uh, connection. My father, uh, Mr. Bradford, knows him very well. He was a politician. He was actually a school board member for many years, and also uh, involved in business in this community. And he was a very wise man. He still. He's still living. Uh, he projected certain uh, attributes within my my siblings and I. And that we could do just about anything we wanted to do if we put forth the effort. Now, art, huh, I had no clue that I would do this uh, for a living. I was actually in the automobile industry for over 18 and a half years and highly successful. I had uh, accomplished tremendous goals where I became uh, uh, one of the highest uh, quality salespeople there for for a number of years and then I was being trained to own the dealership and this is when it all occurred to me working behind the scenes but I'm still thinking about Grandma State University the whole time I'm listening to Mr. Shane whatever you do don't give up on your gift and I still hear that bell no matter how successful I became and so uh, it was Art and Antiques magazine chosen out of uh, several artists, 1,700 artists. Uh, it was 195,000 subscribers. I had no idea what that meant, which excelled my career. And as I would go forward, I would notice that, you know, here's this HBCU guy. Oh, well, I, I, I will have to say this. I never really thought of being a small guy in a big pun. Never a, a small fish in a big pond. I never did. Even though I was doing things with General Motors and I was traveling throughout the globe. I never did feel that way because Gramley always taught me that you could achieve. You know, I had so many aunts and uncles who also attended this great institution. And they became successful. So, I'm saying to myself, if it can be done, if you know, through their interests or their careers, it can be done through mine. And to this date, uh, I still hold part in when I'm interviewed, whether it's television, whatever media it may be. I was just interviewed yet the other day from uh, a podcast out of New York. And uh, I said to them, 
I mentioned, I always mention Grand State University. I mentioned how great this institution is. I mentioned how that when I was when I was young, walking through the halls, and it would be so many students, and I'm surely uh, Daryl can uh, contest to this, where when we were in school, you could barely walk down the halls of Dun Dunbar because there were so many students who participated here at Grand State University because the energy was here and the emphasis and people actually really cared. And I just want to say to Grand State University, to the president of this, of this great university and staff, thank you so much. I'm going to always be here for you. I have I own an art gallery right up the road. I'm the only existing full-time art gallery in Northeast Louisiana. I'm very proud of that. Uh, uh, and we do a lot of mentorship out of that gallery. And we've also done some internship, am I correct, uh, uh, through the, from Grandma State University. Uh, we've also invested in, in, the, in the university. We bought easels. Uh, we bought, uh, we've invested in giving funds, uh, we bought supplies, and we will continue to do that here at Graham State University. And again, thank you.